Hey, how's it hanging, folks? This is BQ. This is the Impact Lounge, and I wanted to follow up on something I said yesterday. So first of all, this is my apology to you guys because I do not like to put misinformation out there, but I wanted to follow up on something I uploaded yesterday. So I took that video down because I don't want misinformation floating around, but the situation was yesterday, Impact Wrestling announces they hired Alicia as a backstage interviewer. I was told, and this was before Pro Wrestling Insider reported it this morning, I was told yesterday that Mackenzie Mitchell was gone. So you can imagine when PWI reported the same exact thing this morning, I felt pretty confident <laughs> in what I had heard that to be fact. So I receive a fair bit of information that comes my way, and I have to sift through that information and say, okay, is this something that's going to cause a huge shitstorm if I say it and it's wrong? Or I have to say, okay, I got to use my common sense sometimes. Does this sound like it's really true? So when you hear me say something on the channel, I'm fairly confident that what I am speaking on is the truth. So yesterday when I had said I've been told that um, Mackenzie was gone, I felt very confident in saying that because, you know, the particular individual I spoke to is not always right, but it is rarely wrong. I'll put it like that. And it's not that he's unreliable when I say he's not always right, but things obviously change. You know, if I'm <laughs> quoting Meltzer there, plans changed. And I hate to come across like one of those fake news people that's talking about my unnamed sources. The thing is, when you're in a position of someone like myself, a podcaster, a YouTuber, a uh, journalist, a blogger, and you have certain information that comes your way, you can't, you don't, you don't want to throw your story. Okay, I heard it from this individual because it costs, it causes mistrust between you and that person, especially because nine times out of nine, they like to say, I, this, hey, this didn't come from me. All right, so I'm being honest. And usually when I, when something comes my way, I usually make sure, okay, can I say something about this? And sometimes it's yes, sometimes it's no. But I'll say like this. Um, there's a, I, I would say I know probably two employees of the company. Um, there's one wrestler I speak to. And then I will say maybe like three, like third-hand sources. Uh, what I mean is someone that there's someone that I trust that knows someone that's connected to someone uh, closer to the situation. And then there's a, a few journalists that I'm, I've considered myself friends with that, you you know, guys you might hear on the impact teleconferences and everything. So there's usually a group of us that we're cool with each other because we trust each other. So usually when I say something on the channel, I really do mean it. And it's, it's really a funny thing because, you know, like I said, I might know a couple employees or a wrestler, but those aren't the people I will ask about the big issues like, Hey, what's up with Eli Drake? Cause they don't know like, like Eli Drake's contract situation is probably more important to us fans than employees within the company. If that makes sense. So if it's, Hey, what's going on with Eli Drake? I will talk to someone who has like third hand information, but then if it's something that's probably not that important, like, Hey, is a, they're doing a press conference for slam anniversary or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you talk to someone who's like directly connected, but, but it's it just weird. Probably the major stories you have the weaker sources and the smaller stories you have the stronger sources because you got to be very careful sometimes that you're not bugging someone too much. But I did ask an employee of the company today to look into this for me and uh, he sent her a text and I was hoping to get something from the horse's mouth regarding what's going on with Mackenzie because she obviously disproved today. She said, that's news to me. Um, she retweeted and basically debunked that that is not true, that she's still part of the company. So first of all, I want to say I'm glad that's that's something I'm wrong on. And that's I'm glad that information was wrong because I didn't want her to go anywhere. I really think they can utilize both gals, whether it's backstage interviewing or for the Global Wrestling Network or Twitch or whatever. Because, I, you know, I've been saying lately, like, get Josh off the screen. I like Josh. He does a lot of good things, but he's a turnoff to a lot of people. Get Josh off the screen get one of these hot ass chicks on there instead. Like, what are you doing? But I was not able to get an answer from her. Um, I, I believe I was, uh, I believe she was traveling today. So uh, not really on her phone like that. So I wasn't able to get a hard answer, but from what I did get from two different people, and this is not hard information. I just want to put it out there. But what I got from two different people was that Mackenzie is most likely on a paper appearance deal. 
Um, I think before she might have been like maybe on something salary. I, I really don't know. But long story short, she's from what I'm understanding now, she's going to be doing anything like in Orlando or in the States in general. And then Alicia will do anything in Canada or on the border. Like they're doing the rise of the knockouts. And I believe Alicia's doing that one. And that's also a Twitch show. So she's been kind of handling some of those. So it seems like whoever logistically makes sense is the one they're going to use. That being said, I don't know what the hell's going on because it's almost like I'm being told different things by different people. We got the uh, teleconference tomorrow with KM and Falaba. And I told Adam to ask Josh about the uh, NOAA partnership. But we could probably ask that next week as well. Um, if he's able to get a question in with Josh, I'm going I'm going to have him ask about the McKenzie thing and see if we can get some clarification on exactly what it is. But I really do want to apologize to you as the listeners because I truly try not to put false information out there. I'm accused of it on a daily basis of putting out false information. But if you go back to... You know, things that I report here on the channel, it's it's very rare that I'm wrong. Um, the, I, pro I think probably the, you know, the last one I was really wrong on, which I don't even say I was wrong. It was just the way people interpreted it was the uh, announced team where I was told they contacted uh, Kevin Kelly. And then I was told they contacted uh, that's Joey Styles as well. I did not report that those guys were being hired. And I think that might have been what was um, interpreted. But I just know they reached out to those guys. That's all I knew. But I kind of feel bad about that one because I think I got some people's hopes up with it. And I really, really, really do my best to not repeat something if I don't feel confident about it. And I apologize. I was wrong. I did feel confident regarding Mackenzie Mitchell yesterday. And as I said, as you see, PWI say the same thing this morning. You would imagine it originated from somewhere. It's just probably the information was a little skewed because they probably um, have lessened her role. So she's not going to be the full-time person, but she will be used on a part-time basis. So we'll see exactly what's true. Hopefully we get some light shed on this whole situation soon. But that is my apology to you guys. And uh, I will do my best to double-check stuff going forward. And uh, yeah, and I'm hoping to get... Mackenzie on the channel here pretty soon. Uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, I'm going to hit her up and uh, kind of apologize to her directly because I have a uh, influence on the Impact Wrestling fan base. So I'm going to try to chop it up with her a little bit about that and then hopefully get her on the show here pretty soon. So thanks for listening, folks. Let's just keep an ear out uh, for something more official. And that's it. Talk to you soon. Peace.